If you travel about halfway between Barcelona and Madrid, you'll find a small city called Zaragoza. Big fans of Spanish football probably know quite a bit about them. In fact, they're the seventh most supported team in the entirety of Spain. But the football team is one of the few in the world that can say they've won more European trophies than domestic ones, as Zaragoza have never actually won the Spanish first division. More recently, Zaragoza can be found playing in the second division. Los Manos have racked up over 70 million euros of debt and will be starting their ninth consecutive season in the second division. Things aren't all bad, however. Jorge and Jose Mas Santos, the part owners of MLS team into Miami, have recently bought 51% of the struggling club. With new owners, huge amounts of fans worldwide, and some pretty good history behind them, Zaragoza are definitely a team with a huge amount of club potential. This makes them perfect for a final FIFA save. If you've got around two or three seasons left in you, you'll be spending the first trying to get promoted, the second avoiding relegation, and the third finally trying to get Zaragoza back to Europe. Jose Mas Santos has said that he will be investing up to 20 million euros in the first season, with more to come depending on when Zaragoza finally win promotion back to the top flight. Don't get me wrong, promotion is absolutely the initial main target, but it's good to say Zaragoza were at serious risk of not even existing a few months ago. In the back room, you will have Raul Sanlehi helping you out as your director of football, who comes with a big reputation thanks to being director of football at Barcelona between 2008 and 2018, followed by a stint at Arsenal in the same role from 2018 to 2020. It's not too clear if he's going to bring the same style of football and youth development that he introduced at Barcelona, but if he does, it's going to be a massive help for you at Zaragoza, especially when you compare his ability to all the other directors of football in this league. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter on FIFA, but for role-playing, he is an absolutely amazing selection. With massive amounts of money being pumped into the club elsewhere, key backroom staff being poached from the largest clubs in Europe, and the size of Zaragoza's support, you have the choice of either being a big spending club, a traditional smaller club trying to bing through youth players, or the Zaragoza of old that had big players such as Cafu, Diego Melito, Pablo Aymar, and Frank Rijkaard all playing some of their career in Zaragoza. At the minute, the club plays a traditional 4-1-4-1 formation, featuring fairly average pace wingers, a decent target man in Sabin Zuolaga, and the potential for a spine of really good young players. In particular, centre-back Francis, central midfielder Vaquero and striker Ivan Azon are all going to peak at a top division level, so see if you can keep them all at the club long term. In terms of new signings, there are lots of realistic opportunities available to Zaragoza, especially if you're a career mode player because the other 49% of the club is actually shared between a bunch of different investors. You've got Colombian Gustavo Serba, who currently owns Millonarios in Colombia. You've got Joseph Ughor Lorian, who is currently president of French club Racing Lon, who currently play in the second division. And you've also got American investors Jim Carpenter and Jim Miller. So this gives you a bunch of different countries you can be realistically signing players from, either first team players or youth players, including France, Spain, of course, the home nation of Zaragoza, United States, Colombia, and Argentina, where many of Zaragoza's legendary former stars originated from. Some suggested transfer targets could include Gabriel Fuentes. He's a rapid left-back who currently plays for Junior FC in Colombia. Not only would you be weakening one of Million RS's rivals, but he's also absolutely ready to play at this level. He's got a good ability, he has the pace that I mentioned before, and I think he would be perfect for the Spanish game. Another person who would be perfect for the Spanish game would be Kellen Acosta. He's the perfect box-to-box -box midfielder whose stats really do suit both the Spanish game and also FIFA 22 in general. So if you can manage to prize him away from LAFC, you will have a future star on your hands. Finally, I'd also recommend you have a look at Benjamin Gare, a small agile winger currently playing for Racing Club in Argentina. But he'll play similarly to someone like Dybala or Messi thanks to his really high dribbling, agility and balanced stats. If you can combine any of these three signings or other ones that we mentioned earlier, such as Zuolaga, Vaquero and Azon together, you'll have both a stable defence, a dynamic midfield and a lethal attack which will no doubt progress you on your goal of getting back to the top division. 
If you have any other transfer suggestions or you've played Zaragoza in the past, please do make sure you comment any suggestions below, or if you decide to do the save, enjoy it, please do come back and comment the names of anyone who you really liked for this save. To round off the video, Zaragoza is a young team with a huge amount of fans. A group of new owners who all have massive amounts of wealth and a desire to get back to where they feel Zaragoza belongs, back in European football. This video was actually suggested by a subscriber, Colors, on my most recent community post, so make sure you head over there and comment any teams you'd like to see a guide like this on in the future. Please go to the subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of video, and like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you really enjoyed it, I would really appreciate a super thanks or maybe consider becoming a channel member. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you soon for another video on this channel, thank you and goodbye.